Hello again, Faintly Saintly here, back for another lovely day at my wonderful supermarket. So last time, we expanded the store, had a bit more space, and uh, started to discover that our stock was not lasting the day. So we need to think about maybe some storage to uh, avoid needing to reorder multiple times every day. Let me just start by seeing my repayments and my bills are paid. Red's gone up. Ah, oh, it's because I've expanded probably. Uh, not in a position to buy another license yet. The rack might be nice as well. Yeah. We'll start with that. We took most of our money, I think, but. Hopefully, we'll find it useful in uh, just storing some extra product. Can't put that here. Ah, oh, don't tell me that has to go in the storage room. I think that might be the case, actually. Okay, that's, that's a minor waste of money at this stage. Be nice if it, uh, if it let me know. Well, and so I might just order some stock to start with. What do I need? Pasta, oil, bread, flour, sugar, coffee, and cheese wouldn't hurt. But I'm just a bit caught conscious of my money. Coffee's quite expensive. Okay, that'll get me started. I need to look at hiring a cashier to automate my checkouts here. Okay, I can't, I've unlocked one now. I oh, know I haven't. I'm going to get to level 10. I've done enough checkouts, I just haven't leveled up my store enough. But I figure... Um, I just don't know how this is going to progress because if I get a cashier, I'm pretty sure all I'll be doing is literally just stacking shelves, right? I mean, I suppose I could have um, an extra register. And we have two going when it gets really busy. Oh, so that was a lot emptier than it actually was. Uh, I'm done. What else do we have? Bread. We don't need much of this at all, actually. Yeah. That's fine. So we've got some coffee, flour, and bread here. Maybe just some pasta and oil as well. What can I afford? I've got $65. That's just cheap. Oil's not too bad. Master oil and what else was there? Nothing urgently, maybe some bottled water. Yeah. I'll get stocked right up before I start, I think. Less interruptions that way. Well, I don't mind giving water another shelf there just to have it all on display. And pasta. Okay, looking pretty good. I'm just going to pick this up and rotate that towards out of my way a little bit more. Okay, I think it's time to open. 
Are we now on day eight or day nine? Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know if there's an easy way to tell. Oh, first customers here. I'd have to check my prices as well. Hello. Milk and cereal. Let's go through and check my prices. So that's just above market. Uh, that is right on market. I've got a customer waiting. Sixteen fifty. Thank you. Uh, bread's under market. That's fine. Yeah, so I just try and round it off just for my own sanity and simplicity, even if it's a little bit over, a little bit under, as long as it's either on the dollar or, you know, 50 cents. That change. Love it. 398, I'm charging 4. 359, I'm charging 4. People are, seem to be happy with that. Because then, you know, this is 328, but I'm charging 3. So I win some and I lose some, but it's just for simplicity. So what do I need again to get level 10? And I'm level 8.5. Good morning. One dollar change. Beautiful. About a hundred dollars now. Uh, flour, no coffee. Yes. Just keep that stocked up. I need to check how much it costs for storage. Eight hundred dollars just to unlock the room. Done. But then I assume that's what that is. Although there is a front entrance as well, right? Which doesn't seem to have that door, so I don't know what the go is there. But a storage room would help. I could just have, you know, backups of all the stock. But I really don't see why I can't just have it here. That would be so much easier at the moment. And I could expand the store again as well. That's a lot of sections. That could, the store must get massive. But yeah, as I was saying before, what concerns me is I don't see any, like, uh, Shelf fillers, <laughs> only cashiers. So I could have one or two automated cashiers on, that's fine, but that just means I'm running around stocking shelves myself. I just say more employees are coming soon, so maybe that's a planned feature. But uh, I'll have to see once I get there. Two cheese, one whole bag of pasta. Can't okay, make up his mind. Back and forth. One water, one tea, one milk, one pasta. Got there in the end. Two bottles of oil, why not? Yeah, I think my favorite addition, addition from the demo was this FBOSS machine, that's pretty cool. I'd love it even more if I could just type the numbers though. Or if I had a numpad on my keyboard. <laughs> Uh, 
right there in a moment and just stock up some shells again. Everything's looking kind of okay, but a little gaps. Hello. 250. One bag of cheese. Certainly, sir. I'll be turning a lot on. Uh, so what have we got past? I can definitely put out there. Well, I certainly can. Bread? I don't think I've sold much, have I? Oh, apparently I have. There I can, but I'll just get ready to serve first, I think. Don't want these customers getting rowdy, waiting for me. He's got dark quick. I think I need to install some more lights in here. <laughs> Cheese is too expensive. We can get the hell out. Get here. Shithead. I'm slowly getting used to having uh, no dollar coins and <laughs> only dollar notes. Feels wrong. Cheesy's too expensive. Come on. Oh no, that's not on five cents. I'll just go three fifty. I'll take the loss on that, okay? Bloody winger. Okay, ma'am. It is nine o'clock. Oh my god, she's drunk. Look at her walk. It's off her head. She doesn't need two boxes of sugar. She doesn't know what she's doing. Please seek help. Might be my last one. Thank you. 20 even. See you later. Okay, day nine done. Three people found products expensive. It must have been that cheese, because I think the price actually did change the last day and I didn't adjust. That's fine. Making progress, making profit. $200 upgrade cost. Oh, that was the shelf, yeah. Flower has gone down. Oh no. Now with 287. Okay, I'll leave it. What have I got? 486. I do feel like I can't do anything. Pay the bills. Once this rent, uh, this loan is repaid, that'll be now fairly 287. I mean, I technically could. I'd rather just make sure I've got stock though. Tea pasta. I'm just get a bit of everything again. Will that work? Next. Yeah, I'm literally just going to buy a box of everything. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's all over the street. I think that single egg pack is going to come back to annoy me later. Get a feeling. Oh, really didn't need flour. Don't run over my use. I oh, want taxi drivers in this city, man. They're all bloody cowboys. Plenty of water.
Nobody complains about the uh, like cleanliness of the store, right? No one's saying, oh, he's got boxes on the floor. I'm not shopping here. I really don't see why I wouldn't do this. Do I need to spend money for a storage? I'm going to just leave boxes all over the floor. Perfect. Okay, looking pretty stopped. So I just had a few things left in I had uh, milk. What else is on my list? Milk and tea. Now that's service. And the milk that doesn't fit in the fridge. Look, I'm just going to leave that out on the floor. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm sure, it'll be fine. Righto, let's get this going. What do I need? Storage, I need to level up. So I'm level 9 now, so I might get level 10 this turn. And the question is, do I aim for storage or do I aim for a cashier first? I could get another loan, really, couldn't I? Just to speed up the process. I just don't want to be stuck paying off yet another loan. Come in here and buy some cheese. And talk to you anyway. Once again, I wish corporate let me have a radio. Yeah, if this silence is bothering you, I mean, there's just... If I'm not actively talking, there's really only a few little quiet ambient sounds. There needs to be something else happening. So if that's annoying you, let me know and I'll try and put a uh, the generic music backing track or something. Of course, by the time... I hear the feedback, I'll probably be, you know, three episodes <laughs> deep, but anyway. He's busy today. None of these people have jobs, apparently. This are all big, um, Purchases, which is nice. Could almost start restocking a few things. Thank you. On the card, 25. Oh, nope. There we go. Thirty-four. Maybe I do need a cashier. <laughs> Otherwise, I might not get the chance to actually restock. And that customer's gone nuts at me for not serving them within three seconds. Jeez, I am um, burning through this stock.
It's not a bad thing. They is just a bit crazy. Bottle of oil. Well done. Okay. I think I'll stop restocking the bottom shelves of water, maybe. Just because uh, if I want to reuse those shelves or something else, there's no way to move products around that are on the shelf that I can see. I'd rather have maybe just a water fridge and then like a milk and dairy fridge or something. I'll let them empty that out. It worked just fine, I think. Is what I'm going to do when I unlock more products. I've got to get my peanut butter license. I'm legally allowed to sell peanut butter in this country. That's going to unlock, what, six new ingredients or something, six new products that I need to stock or the customers will go crazy. Don't know how I'm going to manage that. Pasta, want coffee, want sugar. Want eggs. Okay, one dollar change, thank you. Twenty eight dollars change. I think I'll just, just give him ten dollars extra. He didn't say anything other than the dodgy bastard. No one in this city's honest, man. This isn't a health hazard, all right? It's not a safety hazard. Just don't trip on it. It's easy as that. Just don't step on it. Just go around. Coffee's completely empty. That's not good. to sale. Actually, I'm going to end the day. Day 10 done. 35 customers, 211 store points. Highly profit. Cereal and tea has gone up. That's fine. That's still within the limit. I can go up to $6 now. Thank you very much. We'll finish unloading. See what else I might need to stock up on. And I was going to leave that. I was going to leave the milk and water, I think.
Okay, I'll pay my bills. Or should I just pay that loan out? Yeah. I've paid it out and they still want to repay it from it, you... Dodgy buggers. Okay. What is this? Two rents. Did I not pay my rent yesterday? I think someone's... I think somebody's taken the piss just quietly. Um, no, I can't get that yet, so I'm just going to stock up again. Coffee, tea. Oh, look. One of everything, except water, maybe. Water and milk. There we go. Still a bit of money left over. The best part is I don't have a loan to worry about at the moment, so that's an extra, what's that, $70 in my pocket every day. Although, I could take out a loan for the storage space. And go straight back into debt. Which is tempting. I don't know if that's a smart move at this stage. Well, I should just focus on uh, leveling up, which I should do this today. And uh, getting... Why buy eggs? So many eggs. Um, focus on getting staff member in to help me. Alright, shells are pretty good. Let's just get this day over with. I wonder if this is modeled on an actual city or inspired by one. I guess it'll be a US city. I'll just check if there's any customization, but I think it's not unlocked yet. I think that, yeah, coming soon. Which is fine. So obviously the game is still a work in progress. Being early access. Yeah. Hey, it's Joey. My favorite customer. He's in three times a day. He's got a problem. I got some rubbish. Can, did anyone buy an egg? Yes. So if we get a cashier, this is literally all I'm going to be doing is just ducking shelves, I think. I'm, I'm still struggling to find any other outcome. <laughs> Which is good because it needs to be done, it needs to be done, but... I'm too proud. I'm a proud business owner. I should be out the back with my feet up on the desk smoking a big fat cigar while the little minions run around and do all this work.
I need 50. If we can turn the lights on. Can I move that? I can. Fifty-three. That's a big shop. Hello on the card. Forty. Thank you. Okay, if we we'll get rid of these lights, just focus on the uh, customer experience over there. Five. Thank you. Sixteen. Thank you. See you later. Just the milk on the card. Three. All happening. An awkward moment when you like want to grab something off the shelf, but somebody is there just stacking it, and they've just got it perfect, and you have to awkwardly sort of reach over and say, <laughs> "Sorry, just need uh, just gotta get uh, one of one of these." I'm sure it's just I don't mind, but I kind of have to feel a little bit guilty. And they had a coffee. Well, more than half out of coffee. Right. Coffee, flour, hello. Exact weight, thank you very much. Plenty of eggs. Poppy flour might be it for now. Alright, I've reached level 10, so next day I should be able to put on a cashier. I'm just going to order this now. Snuck those out on the shelves. That's a big shop. No. Apparently not. 70 50 change. You're a piece of work. Get out of here. My one retail job I worked used to be a common occurrence for people to come in and buy like the newspaper with a $50 note, a $100 note, and you get them every weekend morning. And that would absolutely screw up your cash draw. Like, no worries, mate. No one else needs any bloody change. Just as long as you're okay. To break your big stupid note. So you can read your bullshit paper. I've got a question for you, mate. Have you ever heard of the uh, this little thing called the internet? Or maybe like a, a Visa card. You know, just, just pop that thing on the card. Why are you carrying in 50s for? Nine o'clock. I'll serve this guy. Watch these two come in. Yep. Right on cue. Classic retail experience. Oh, another one. Yeah, just keep, just keep coming in, man. I don't want to go home. Don't know where to be. Well, 
All right, money's money. Didn't find milk. We had a milk. How the hell did that happen? Holy moly. All right, that's day 11 done. 35 satisfied customers. One sookie lady couldn't find the milk because it's sitting on the floor at room temperature. Plenty of profit and a nice healthy balance. And the price of eggs has gone up. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to leave it there for this day. When we come back, I will hire a staff member Get someone else on the checkout, and I can live my dream of doing nothing but stacking shells for 12 hours a day. Thanks again for watching. I'm Faintly Saintly. If you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing and liking. It helps a lot. And if you have any feedback or game suggestions, leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you, and I would really appreciate it. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.